he used to speak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that mountain. He couldn't see him, but he could hear and speak with him in a way Allah knows how. He saw in he saw a fire, the old testament a burning bush. He saw some representation and he was speaking, but he couldn't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He asked to see him one time, and Holy Quran said that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Musa, Oh Musa, look at the mountain. I'm going to reveal the smallest part of my tajalli on that mountain. If the mountain can carry it, you can see me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he revealed something on that mountain. And that Jabal was Kasib and Mahila made into powder and Musa saw it when Musa looked at the mountain and saw it turning into powder he, he, he fainted more than fainted Malana Sheikh Hashem said he died from the shock and had to be raised back up again brought back to life by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you want to translate or everyone speak English I think everyone speaks English so it's okay So Musa was going always to Mount Sinai, Tori Sinai, and people used to catch him on the way. If you know someone is going to Hajj or Umrah, uh, usually they catch the person on the way and say, oh, my brother, or oh, my friend, or oh, my relative, when you're in Mecca, Mukarama, Medina, Munawara, and pray for me, and remember me there in the holy places. And people, when they knew Musa was going to speak with, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they used to catch him on the way and ask him this or that. When you're there, ask for me this, ask for me that. And Sayyidina Musa, he was passing through an area, there was a Jabal, a tyrant, a terrible tyrant ruling in that area, taking people into slavery, taking all their property, taking them as slaves, say, killing them, doing every kind of uh, zulm, tyranny, and darkness. And Musa, he passed a uh, small farm. There were three people there, a father, a mother, and a boy. And he passed first the father who said to him, O oh Musa, you're going to Tori Sinin to speak with Allah? Yes. Could you ask something for us while you're there? He said, what's that? And Musa thinks he's going to ask, oh, my Lord, take away that zalim, that tyrant. But instead, the person said, Oh, Musa, that tyrant is only there by my Lord's will. We accept that only if you could ask the Lord how long we have to be patient with him. Allah. Ask that for us, please. Musa said, All right. He went a little farther and he found the wife. And she asked him the same question. Oh, Musa, you're going to Mount Sinai, Tori Sinin, to speak with Allah? Yes, inshallah. He said, she said, can you ask for me something? What's that? Ask your Lord how long we have to be patient with that zalim. He said, all right. Then he met the son. Same question. Oh, Musa, ask how long we have to be patient with that zalim. Musa went to Turi Sinin and he entered into that in the Wadi Lake. He took off his shoes and entered the only uh, area. And when he would go into Allah's presence, he would forget everything. Malani used to say he would go into a hall, into something 
that prophets can experience and we can't experience that. But he would be lost in Allah's presence. Until the until the uh, session finish and Musa would come back to himself again and prepare to go back to his people. As he prepared to go, the voice came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one more time, Oh Musa, didn't anyone ask you anything to ask me? You forgot? Musa said, Oh my Lord, I, I forgot, forgive me. Yes, one family in the land of such and such tyrant, they asked how long they have to be patient. What's your will? How long that tyrant's going to be there? And Allah said to Musa, Hey, sir. Oh, Musa, tell those people they have to be patient. I gave that tyrant 100 years of life. He's going to be there 100 years. Means those conditions are going to be on those people 100 years. Nothing can be done. Musa went back. He has a heavy heart. And he finds first the boy. Oh, Musa, what did Allah say? How long we have to be patient? I'm sorry, 100 years. And the boy went, La hawla wa la quwata illa bilahina li hawla. I accept my Lord's will. I'm surrendering my, all my objections. And I make my will along with my Lord's will. Carry me, oh my Lord, as you're carrying everything. Then Musa went a little farther. He found the wife waiting. And she said, Oh Musa, you spoke with Allah? Yes, he said. 100 years, you have to be patient. I surrender my will to my Lord's will. If that's what he wants, I surrender. Musa went farther, he found the husband waiting. And, oh Musa, you spoke with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. What he said, oh, my friend, I'm sorry, but the answer of the Lord is 100 years he's going to, that Zalim, Jabar, Jababra is going to be on you. You have to be patient. 100 years. The man said, I surrender my will to my Lord's will. He knows best. Just then, when that man said that, a rider on horseback, they didn't have in those days the internet or TV to get the news, a rider was coming on horseback saying, the king is dead. Long live the new king. The tyrant is dead. Oh, people rejoice. And the people are so happy. Alhamdulillah. But Musa, he was upset. He just came back with the news and his prophet. And now no one's going to believe him. He said 100 years and they say he finished it right now. Quickly, he ran back to Turi Sinin, to Mount Sinai. Oh, my Lord, what happened? Oh, Musa, Ya Kalima, what happened? He said, oh, my Lord, you told me 100 years for that time. But when I went back and told them what you said, immediately a writer came to say he died that moment. Who's going to listen to me after that? He said, oh, Musa, relax. Say, la hawla wa la quwati la bina I gave that tyrant 100 years. But when that boy said, he didn't complain, but he referred to my will, I took one third away from that tyrant. Then when the wife said, referring it back to my will and accepting what my decree, I took another third. When the man said, just finish, he died. <laughs> and we took that away. And Mulana Sheikh Nazim said, take that as a lesson to all of us. Use la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi la lil azim. Sheikh Mohideen said, Kanzun, a treasure from the unseen. With it, he was opening every goodness that had been closed off and letting it to come down and stitching up every harmful thing that was coming out to close it off, not to harm people. When faced with a difficult situation, we're facing wave after wave of problems. You look the news, it's one 
bad thing after another, your heart's going to be broken. Instead of to jump in the streets and protest, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Instead, say, Leave to Allah. He knows what he decreed. He said, I make people to taste the azab, the punishment, from time to time to make them to think about what they did, O oh, mankind. How many prophets came to mankind? 124,000. How many religions? How many good teachings and people are ignoring it? I sent something to make them to come back to their right minds, to repent, to make tawbah, they still far, and to change their ways. I'm giving time to people and until the final end. Until that time comes, we have to pray, Allah, make us to repent. Oh, our Lord, make good mind to come to people. Uh, Anas Malik, the Sahabi, uh, radiallahu an, he put in his dua, Bismillahi, ala nafsi wa kalbi, Bismillahi ala akli wa zihni. Your divine name, Bismillah, over my uh, mind and my mentality, my thinking. Make me to think truly, correctly. Don't leave me to wander on the path uh, of uh, shaitan, to follow the path of shaitan. Don't make me to be on that way. Make me to be a tabu sabina rasul, salihin, to follow the, the right way. The way of prophets so are We ask our Lord to forgive us and mercy us and use this time now, holy month of Zulkada, holy month, as a seclusion to try to correct ourselves and to correct our hearts to come closer to Allah's Divinely Presence and Prophet's Holy Presence and the Holy Presence of Awliya to be with them by heart and to be with them really also. May Allah grant us, may Prophet Shafa for us, may Mawlana uh, Sahib al Imdad extend his holy help to lift us up during this holy month. Amin al Tawfiq, we hermit of Fatima. Ami. He makes a curtain, inshallah. Ashadu in la ilaha illallah. Ashadu in la Muhammad al Abduhu Rasul. Ashadu in la ilaha illallah. Ashadu in la Muhammad al Abduhu Rasul. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أستغفر الله 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 أستغفر الله
وَأُفَوِّضُ أَمْرِي إِلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ رَابِطَةُ الشَّرِيحِ مَنَا جَا سَيْدِ يَا سَاهِمُ الْإِمْدَى Extend to us the rope of divine help and holy help to get up. Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahmanirrahim. Maliki Mubin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nista'in. Idina sirat mustaqim wa sirat al-lazina na'ut alayhim. Ayil mawdubi alayhim wa lallahi. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد و سلم اللهم صل على محمد و على آل محمد و سلم اللهم صل على محمد و على آل محمد و سلم اللهم صل على محمد و على آل محمد و سلم اللهم صل على محمد و على آل محمد و سلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم ألم نشرح الشريف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا أنك ويزرك الذي أنقل ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإنما رسل يسرا إنما رسل يسرا فإذا فرغت فانسب وإن ربك فرغ الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا نهى الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا نهى الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له Alhamdulillah <laughs> اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل 